What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in Atlanta at Ama Manier with multi platinum rapper Key Glock. Yo. How you doing? I'm doing great. Gonna do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. Guaranteed. I am. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Key Glock, a lot of people come on the show and they say, listen, I was always into Jordans. Like back in the day, I was getting them. But you have video proof recently, wow. your first pair of Jordans, wow. you're wearing 13s now, the yeah. brave blue Jordans that your mom bought you. They were, were they in storage? What was the deal with those? Actually, I didn't ask her where she found them. I was just so happy and excited that I seen them because yeah. I didn't even knew she still had them. And I was like, oh yeah. It's proof right here, I've been doing this. The one thing I love, you're like, don't clean them. Just keep them like how yeah, they are. Just, just leave it how it is. It was a lot of stuff she found, but that stuck out the most to me. And then, you know, ninth grade, you always said that you stood out. I think like the first song you put out was in ninth grade, and like you always said that you were a popular kid, but mm -hmm. what was it like the footwear back then? Did you always try to go to school in like some fresh Jordans? Always. Yeah. Every Saturday. Every Jordan, like the new release would be like, Every Saturday, it was not every Saturday, every other Saturday. And so I made like, sure I got them. Like, okay, you know every, it was the Saturday releases? Yeah, see like back then, I made sure I got them the day they come out. But okay. now, nowadays, like now, I don't gotta wait till the day they come out. A little early or even? Yeah, it don't even matter. Yeah. yeah Cause I'm, I'm gonna eventually put something together and work. And that's another thing that you always say, color coordinated is your thing. All right. Just like today. All right. <laughs> you know, we're at Alma Meniere. On full size run, you had the Alma Meniere threes, but you didn't get them here. Where are you going to get shoes? Like, is it plugs or online or what? Sometime they find me or I just stumble, stumble across them. Yeah. yeah. And then getting off tour, did you right. go shopping anywhere? I went, I ain't gonna lie. We went shopping every day. Just really? Because, just because. Any Even if I ain't getting none, I bought my boys something. Like. So that's, you're big into that. Yeah. There was like, I tried to click on videos, but it's not up anymore. $17,000 sneaker shopping video, but you said it was for all your boys. Do you yeah. remember that, that day? That was here in Atlanta too. It was? Yeah, it was, I think it was called Premium Kicks. Okay. Like 2018 or something like that. Yeah. Got the like the Supreme Fives that day. Yeah, Supreme Fives, the championship package with 13s and 14s. It was so much though, I can't even think right now. And then coming in here, I know that, you know, big yellow tape, you wore the Lightning 4s and the, the mm -hmm. Thunder 4s as well, but you right. immediately went to these. Yeah, and I don't even wear dunks, but like I said, and he found me. Like I just told you, these yep. just found me. And I don't even have, I don't even own a pair of high top dunks, but today gonna be my first okay. pair. So you see <laughs> yellow immediately did Yeah, I can't turn them down, them hard. One thing that I think is rare about like what sneakers you wear, no Air Force Ones really. No more. No, no. When when did you stop that? Because like they're more popular than ever, obviously now. But when did you stop wearing Air Force Ones? I said probably three years ago. Why was that? It really wasn't a reason. It's just I feel like Jordans go with anything. Okay. Like I don't know. I'm just obsessed with Jordans. All right, so Jordan's <laughs> over Air Forces. Did you have Everything. a lot that you like gave away or what, Air Forces? No, I still buy them, but mm -hmm. I don't wear them. Like, okay. You know, I still buy, I buy Allen Iversons, I don't wear them. I buy Kobe's, I don't wear them. I only wear my Jordans. Is that just to have? Yeah, I just love shoes. I okay. just love collecting shoes. To that point, I know that Penny Hardaway, big supporter, you're a big supporter of Memphis, obviously. Right. And in high school, you were wearing tons of foam posits, right? Foam posits, the fours, the twos, all of them. All the pennies. I think I put my whole school on. Really? Other than foam posits, I was wearing all the other pennies. And did you ever meet Penny Hardaway? Did you perform at like Memphis Madness once? Yeah, but when I was in high school, mm -hmm. we went to Hamilton High. He sponsored our basketball team, our high school team. So I was real close with the whole team, yeah. really, you know? Like Paper Raul, the other artist that's on the label with me, he played for him. And Penny used to just bring the whole team, just give them shoes, you Wow. Know? Just because, and I'd be right there with them. But awesome, so you were getting some of the shoes. Sometimes, cause yeah. I'd be like, I already, I already spent my money on mine. I'm yeah. Appreciate it, though, yeah. What's the <laughs> sneaker room like? You right, I do have a sneaker room. Yeah. I, I got, what, seven rooms in my house, my, sh my shoes got their own room. Would you say sneakers is your main collectible mm -hmm. hobby? Really don't have a hobby. Okay. You know, I but like you are it, a like collector. A it's like yeah, if you're not I got wearing... a passion for shoes. I yeah. just love shoes. I Look. probably buy more shoes than I do clothes. Really? Yeah. 
Whiskey Glock. Around 2018, you kind of stopped wearing designer. It seems like a lot of people started wearing designer sneakers around that year, but you went the other way. Why was that? Like, I, I was on it for a minute, and then I realized, I was like, this, this ain't for me. This, it's really weak, you know? I was like, this ain't, this ain't my style, because you know, with how I look at it, you can only wear designer shoes so many times mm -hmm. with, with so many things. But here you go with Jordans and Forces, you can wear them whenever, with whatever, however. Yeah. However many times you want to. Because I remember like even you had the shiny Margellas in the video, yeah, but- one and done. One and done. You can't be seen with them again. Like okay. That. <laughs> Another thing I like about your Jordan stuff is you'll wear Jordans over like the 15. Some people are like, right. I'm a one, I'm a two or three, up to the 11s. You have like the Stealth 23s, exactly. the yellow 18s. I was gonna wear them this morning. The Stealth 23s? Yeah, I was gonna bring them. Yeah, so talk about the love of like those models. I think it was like early 2000s. Mm -hmm. I was in like elementary school and that's when, you know, this was like when, when they was freshly coming out. So yeah. I was, 23s to 21s to 20s, I always liked it them. Yeah. They don't even come out like right now. They don't even come out too much. And then when they retro, you think you'll go back and get the retros even? Nah, no, for sure. Yeah. For sure. I think another pair I saw you wear, Billie Eilish 15s. Yeah, what I like wear? the 15s. They comfortable. A lot yeah. of people don't know they, they got a comfortable shoe. Probably one of the most comfortable shoes. It's funny because like I think G-Eazy was like the 15s mm -hmm. are my favorite, even though no one likes them. And and sure. Billy on the show was like. Everyone says they're ugly, but those are nah, they are. I 15s, yeah. yeah. for sure. And another thing that I like that you were even on full size when you were like the white and black fusions, you still behind I got them. a pair of fusions that I ain't even brought out yet. Really? I still got a pair. So you like to do your I'm own thing? I'm gonna upload them soon, just for you. Okay. I'm gonna show them just for you. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> we have to talk NBA Finals, who do you got? They trying to put me on the spot. Who, come on, who do you got? I saw Steph Curry warming up to your song. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to commit? But look, though, I just feel like it's Boston here. I ain't okay. gonna lie. This, it, I, it just looks like it's daytime. Okay. That's, that's what I'm feeling. Okay. <laughs> you heard it here first. Well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Browse the mm -hmm. show, see what you're going to take home. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. <laughs> Welcome in. Yup, that be for sure for me. Yeah, size 10. Yeah. All right, cool. I like the colorway too. The corduroy is nice. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie, I gotta have these. <laughs> it's a good 10. choice. All right. And I ain't wearing no Margellas in so long. I'm gonna be the first design I'll start back wearing again. We had the mid-year, all of the Jordans sent in for you. We have mm -hmm. the Jordan 1s here, our newest release, which is the Jordan 2s, right. and then the Jordan 3s. We got them all for you if you want to do a size 10. Gotta do it. All right, cool. Double up on it. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, you doing all right? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> all right, total will be 3,559 dollars and three cents. Should be out there. I get as much as I can. Teamwork. Appreciate y'all. Teamwork make the dream work. So, Key Glock came through, got some new sneakers, some new Jordans. Thanks so much for taking the time. Yes, sir. Make sure everyone checks out the Yellow Tape 2 out everywhere right now. Right now. All right. Yeah. Push it up.